Welcome back, guys. We are seeing some very, very, very nice financials at the moment. Uh, the ships are riding themselves, the, the line that we split up. It's looking decent on both of them. Our trains are looking okay. Not fantastic. There are still lines losing money. But overall we are making okay-ish money okay-ish so we're going to continue down this line i think um and i think what i want to do is i want to split up the the shipping line down here as well uh, so how many ships do we have on that? Let's pin you. We have 24. And we want it to be one line, two lines. So that's 12 on each, which is perfectly fine. So we're going to set up a new line that is going to be called... Mirror Airport to uh, North Port, and that's going to take a bit of doing. And let's just make sure that it's a very different color than the other one. And this is going to be cargo, ship, delivery, all, uh, near. Nor. Okay. And we are going to manage the vehicles on this. And we are going to grab half of them. And I'm not going to be as particular about it as I was before. Hopefully this will be fine. We could just sell them and get some new ones. Do we want to do that? Nah, let's not. Uh, ship delivery all. Mirnor. And we want that line. And we'll color them their color. So that we can see what is what. And we are going to rename this to Onor and manage that line and tell it that you are not going there and you're not going there. Stop going there. Thank you. Okay. So, that's that. Then I would very much like to raise this bridge up and get another one going over to Syracuse. So, we're going to pause for just a second because this is going to cause mayhem. Oh, uh, Miramar has actually started building over on the other side of the river, but... I'm not sure it will be able to continue doing that. We'll see. No bus lane, no train tracks. So, can ships get under there? They can. Okay. But I actually think... Uh, let's do this kind of bridge and redo it. Uh, let, let's try and do this. I'm kind of okay with that. 
Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's do it. Shift can get under. And we can put in a new line. From there to there. If it'll let me. Go, go, you can do it. I believe in you, game. There we go. Uh, cargo, ship, delivery, all near here. And we are going to buy some ships for that. We're going to buy eight Merlins. And make them that, I think that color. There we go. Okay. So now we have ships going all the way over there which is kind of nice to see and our new uh is it bright green i think it's bright green ships are coming out look at that Whoa, you're turning hard. All right. Well, we have our ships coming out. Beautiful. Beautiful. What's the rate on that? 1,063. That's probably okay. Uh, let's check the rates on these. So this is Miramar Norwich, 1,000. And over on this one, there's the harbor. It's 1327, which is okay. It could be better. We, we, we want them to be around, I'd like them to be around a two minute um, frequency. Because I think that's what the ships can handle. Two minute frequencies. Uh, let's just see terminals. Why? Why? Why put them on the same terminal? I do not understand. Uh, terminals. They're on separate terminals. Good. And over here. Terminals. They're on separate terminals. Okay. Good, good, good. All right, so we just might make money here, even though we spent 24 million on a bunch of ships. And I would love to make money here, even though we spent money on ships. Um, now, our road expensive has gone down uh when we ended the last episode the last one was at uh, like 42 million it went down to 24 which is great normally it's around it was around 30. so so we have reduced our uh, truck expenses by quite a bit actually or truck deficits if you if you will and I'm very happy about that. I'm very happy about that. Now, where can we get some more production going that doesn't require us to make or spend a crap ton of money on new trains? Because that's really the question, isn't it?
So what we could do... Hmm. Let's grab those two oil wells and bring the oil down here. Oh, down here. And send it somewhere for processing. Where can it be processed? Anywhere around here? Well, there. Could be processed there. And then we could send it back up here to be turned into fuel. We do need more fuel. We do need more fuel. But well, that's a possibility. We have a fuel refinery there as well. But I don't really want too much. So it, we are already bringing 400 over there. I don't want to bring another 400 over there, really, to be quite honest. What we could do is take these four farms, bring them the goods up to here, or the grain up to here, and then bring the food over here. That is also a possibility. That is definitely also a possibility. How much food do we have sitting here already? 132. So getting a bunch more food sitting here, it might not be a bad idea. I mean, we're making food up here. We're making food up here, and we're making food where? Where else are we making food? We're making food somewhere else. Uh, food. Food. Oh, oh yeah, Amarillo. Amarillo is really not producing a lot, though. Why is that? It's missing grain. You're not bringing any in. You're not bringing any in. You're bringing some grain in. Why are we not producing enough food and or we, we should have let, let's take a look. So we have one, two, three farms or food processing plants going. So how many rain farms do we have going? So we should have 12. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. So we should be producing enough grain. But we're not shipping the grain to the to Amarillo fast enough? Do we have a bunch of grain sitting down here? No, but we have grain sitting here. Well, we had some sitting there, but, and, we, and we also have grain sitting here. And that's f that's frustrating, because... What are the grain farms that we are using? We are using... Where, where is this going? That's going over there. This is going over there as well, I guess. Yeah. These two are definitely going to El Paso. And these two are going down here. 
and should be trained up. So should we be telling our trains not to send grain down south? And if we do that, what does that mean for our income? That is the question. Is the question. We could tell our trains not to bring the grain down here. Not to unload grain down here. That is something that we could do. That is something that we could do. We could also set a little truck route up here for grain. Now, all the food here, there isn't that much of it. There really isn't much of it. Hmm. I don't know. I do not know. But I mean, we only have three food processing plants going. So getting a fourth going might not be the worst thing. But is this then that we the one that we want? Because we have tons of food over here, currently. Or do we want to find another one? I don't suppose there's one down here where we could... No. No. We have another food plant processing plant over here somewhere. Where is it? I saw one before. Now it's gone. Was dying. Oh no, there it is. Over here. So we could get rain going to there. I don't know, guys. I do not know. Hmm. We also have one here. Well, there are two farms here that could deliver directly to that. This farm could, and this farm could. But again, that's more food where we already have it. Uh, the problem is that the Amarillo uh, food processing plant really isn't getting enough grain. Why is it not getting enough grain? We're coming down with 165, but that's just not enough. And what's the rate on these ships? 621. So it should be enough. Uh, you know what? Uh, let's um, manage the vehicles on this. We have 16. We'll replace them with the Merlins. bit faster and carry a bit more so that's something that we can do that's something that we can do But I don't know that that's going to help. What's the rate on you? 595. So you actually need a rate of 800. 
Is that why we're not getting... the grain as fast as we would like? Could be. No, it's 600. Let's replace these guys with... These to pollens. What's the rate then? 777. Let's put one more on there. Well, there's a ton of grain there now. Oh, 100 and something tons of grain there now. We've got 28 food, which is just not enough. Where's the next one coming down there? You have 90 grain. Then there's you, you have absolutely nothing. Uh, do we want to put in a little truck line here for more grain? Is it because there isn't demand for food over here? There isn't that much demand for food over here. But there is some. Burbank, El Paso, Evansville, Durham, Phoenix. There is some demand for food over there. One feature that I would really like is a statistic where you can see the total demand on the map for each product. I think that would be very useful. I think that would be very useful. Look at that, we actually made money. Even though we spent 24 million, we spent a lot more this time and it doesn't look like we're making money. But we will. We will. Ooh, a lot of tools here. 450 tools going to Syracuse Cargo Hub. What about up here? What do we have sitting here? 204 going to Spokane. And they're actually going to Syracuse, more or less. Well, there. The bread. The bread is more or less all going to Syracuse. So yeah, hmm. Hmm. All right, we're we lost money here. But we spent 56, so we lost 33 million. I suppose that's something that we can live with for now, considering the changes we made. Because they need to manifest themselves into good decisions. Which they haven't yet. Which they haven't yet. Seems like we have a lot of stuff sitting here. But it's small amounts of a lot of things. Which isn't great for ships with large cargo holds. Now this line doesn't have any restrictions on what it can carry, does it? No. Hmm. What do we have here? We, we have a ton of crap sitting here. And what about here? Not, not on the train, on the... This seems fine. It's not getting overloaded 
but it also doesn't have a lot of stuff sitting here. It doesn't have a lot of stuff sitting there. Why not? You're low on steel, on iron, not steel, iron. We have a ton of coal sitting here. A thousand and seventy-seven coal? Seriously? And it's going to north south. A thousand and seventy-seven coal. We have a rate of 490 there. It needs to be 800. It really needs to be 800. So, let's manage the vehicles. And replace them with the uh, G-Fang dump trucks. And see what that does for the rate. 1,162, that's way too much. So, let's take four of them off. 151. 847. 794, that's one too many. All right. But the thing is, it's not really coal that it's lacking for. It's iron. So what is our iron situation looking here? It should be getting more iron than it's getting anything else. What the frick? Why? Oh. This is very frustrating. Very, very frustrating. <laughs> Let's just take a moment to enjoy that we might actually be making money now. We were at least making money. I might have screwed it up again. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? We have spent, what, let's say 25... 80, 100 million over the last three fiscal thingies. And we still have money. So, in my world, that's good, good news, good news. All right, and what are our lines looking like? Specifically, our train lines. Wow, the Hopper East is. Oof. That's not looking too good. And that actually does make decent amount of, amounts of money sometimes. Yeah. But other than that, it's it's looking okay. It's looking a lot better than it did. It's looking a lot better than it did. And up here in San Antonio, the box cars. Box Central just doesn't have that much to do 
which I don't understand because most of what we're making is box stuff. Is it all just going to Fort Collins or San Antonio or something? No, it really isn't. It really isn't. It's very, very frustrating. It feels like the trains just don't want to bring stuff with them. Which may be the case. I don't know. Maybe we're shipping it too far? But all of them should have some kind of production unit or some town relatively nearby that wants the product. They really should. They really, really should. So I'm not entirely sure I understand what the heck is going on. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to continue figuring this out in the next one. Ooh, look at the ships there, man. That's pretty good. Which ship lines are doing well? Oh, no. Plastic line. Doing pretty good, which is unusual. That's looking okay. Wake Emma is not looking okay. But overall, the shipping lines are looking up. Didn't want to close that. And I think the train lines are too. There's still a lot to do with the truck lines, I think, but I mean, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there, guys. How much stuff do we have sitting here? It's not overflowing, so that's good. That's good. All right. We still have money in the bank. Looks like we just might make money here. Unless a uh, big maintenance cost pops in. Then we should be making money here as well. Well, it did pop in, but we still we were still in the green when it did. So I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. I think we're back to money-making ways, more or less permanently, until I screw up again. Which I probably will do. But so far, I am very happy with what I'm seeing financials-wise. I'm not super excited about the fact that it seems like a lot of uh, resources, for instance, the grain over here. Well, why are you not getting more grain? I mean, you should be getting more grain. You're empty. You're empty. You're empty. Why don't any of you have any grain? So bloody annoying. 
Well, we'll figure it out at some point, I'm sure. Let me know if you have any thoughts or suggestions uh, about why, for instance, the Amarillo food plant isn't getting grain, because it should be getting grain. We have, we are producing enough grain to feed all our food processing plants. We really, really are. So yeah, let me know. Uh, but for now, we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.